Hello everyone, welcome to today's CUBE presentation of AWS Startup Showcase. I'm John Furrier, your host, highlighting the hottest companies in DevOps, data analytics, and cloud management. Lisa Martin and Dave Vellante are here to kick it off. We've got a great program for you. Again, this is our, our new community event model where we're doing every quarter, we have every a new episode. This is quarter three this year, or episode three, season one of the hottest cloud startups. And we're going to be featured them, we're going to do a keynote package, and then 15 companies will present their story, go check them out, and then have a closing keynote with a practitioner. And we got some great lineups here. Lisa, Dave, great to see you. Thanks for, for joining me. Great hey guys, to you too. great to be here. So Dave, I got to ask you, you know, back in events, Lisa and I were at the Fortinet's uh, event where they had the Golf PGA Championship with theCUBE. Now we got the hybrid model. This is the new normal we're in. We got the, these great companies, we're showcasing them. What's your take? Well, you're right. I mean, I think there's a, a combination of things. We're seeing some live shows. We saw what we did with, at Mobile World Congress. We did the show with AWS Storage Day where it was, we were at the spheres. There was no, there was a live audience, but they weren't there physically. It was just virtual. And um, yeah, so, and I just got pinged about uh, reInvent. Hey Dave, you got to make your flights. So I'm making my flights. Yeah, we're going to be at the Amazon Web Services Public Sector Summit next week. Lisa, a lot, of, a lot of cloud convergence going on here. We got many companies being featured here that we spoke with, the CEOs and their top people, cloud management, DevOps, data analysis and security, really cutting edge companies. Yes, cutting edge companies who are all focused on acceleration. We've talked about the acceleration of digital transformation the last 18 months, and we've seen a tremendous amount of acceleration in innovation with what these startups are doing. We've talked to, like you said, their, their C-suite. We've also talked to their customers about how they are innovating so quickly with this hybrid environment, this remote work, and we've talked a lot about security in the last week or so. You mentioned that we were at Fortinet, the cybersecurity skills gap, what some of these companies are doing with automation, for example, to help shorten that gap, which is a big opportunity for the job market. Yeah, great stuff. Dave, so the format of this event, you're going to have a fireside chat with a practitioner. We like to end these programs with a great uh, experience, practitioner cutting edge in data fabric. At the beginning, Lisa and I are going to be kicking off with, of course, Jeff Barr to give us the update on what's going on at AWS. And then a special presentation from Emily Freeman, who's the author of DevOps for Dummies. She's introducing new content, the revolution in DevOps, DevOps 2.0. And of course, Jerry Chen from Greylock, CUBE alumni is going to come on and talk about his new thesis, castles in the cloud, creating moats at cloud scale. We've got a great lineup uh, of people. And uh, so the front end is going to be great. Dave, give us a little preview of what people can expect at the end in the fireside chat. Well, at the highest level, John, we, I, I have always said we're entering the, sort of the third great wave of cloud. First wave was experimentation. The second big wave was migration. The third wave is integration, deep business integration. And what you're going to hear from HelloFresh today is how they, like many companies that started early last decade, they started with an on-prem Hadoop system. And then of course, we all know what happened is S3 essentially took the knees out from from the on-prem Hadoop market, lowered costs, brought things into the cloud. And what HelloFresh is doing is they're transforming from that legacy Hadoop system into, and it's running on AWS, but into a data mesh. You know, it's a, a passionate topic of mine. HelloFresh was scaling. They realized that they couldn't keep up. So they had to rethink their entire data architecture and they built it around data mesh. Uh, Clements Chi and Christoph Sawande are going to explain how they actually did that in, or on a journey toward decentralized data mesh. Great, and your posts have been awesome on data mesh. We get a lot of traction. Certainly your breaking analysis for the folks watching. Check out Dave Vellante's breaking analysis every week, highlighting the cutting edge trends in tech. Uh, Dave, we're going to see you later. Lisa and I are going to be in here in the morning talking about with Emily. We've got Jeff Barr teed up. Dave, thanks for coming on. We're looking forward to the fireside chat. Uh, Lisa, we'll see you when Emily comes back on, but uh, we're going to go to Jeff Barr right now for Dave and I are going to inter interview Jeff. Hey, Jeff. There he is. Hey, Dave. Hey, how are you? Good How's it going? You know, really well. So I got to ask I'm you, the reInvent is on. Everyone wants to know that's happening, right? We're, we, we're good with reInvent? Reinvent is happening. I, I've I've got my hotel, and actually listening to Dave, I just remembered I still need to actually book my flights. I've got my to-do list on my desk, and I do need to get my flights. Uh, really looking forward to it. Yeah, 
I can't wait to see the, all the announcements and blog posts. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna hear from Jerry Chen later. I love the after on our next event. Get your reaction to this castle and castles in the cloud where competitive advantages can be built in the cloud. We're seeing examples of that. But first, I got to ask you. Uh, give me give us an update on what's going on in the APN ecosystem. There's been an incredible uh, celebration these past couple of weeks. So, so a lot of different things happening. And the interesting thing to me is that as part of my job, I often think that I'm effectively living in the future because I get to see all this really cool stuff that we're building just a little bit before our customers get to. And so I'm always thinking, okay, here I am now and what's the world going to be like in a couple of weeks to a month or two when these launches I'm working on actually get out the door. And that, that's always really, really fun, just kind of getting that, that little edge into where we're going. But this year was a little interesting because we had two really significant birthdays. We had the 15 year anniversary of both EC2 and S3. And we're so focused on innovating and moving forward that it, it's actually pretty rare for us at AWS to look back and say, wow, we've actually done all these amazing things in, in the last 15 years. What's you know what's kind of cool, Jeff, if I may, is, is you know, of course, in the early days, everybody said, well, the place for a startup is AWS. And now the great thing about this startup showcase is we're seeing these startups that are very near, or some of them have even reached escape velocity. So they're not, they're not tiny little companies anymore. They're in there transforming their respective industries. It, they really are. And I, I think that as these startups grow, they, they really start to lean into the power of the cloud. They, as they start to think, okay, we've, we've got our basic infrastructure in place. We've got, we, we're serving data, we're ser serving up a few customers. Everything's actually working pretty well for us. We've got our fundamental model proven out. Now we can invest in, in publicity and in marketing in scaling. And, but they don't have to think about what's happening behind the scenes. They just, if, if they've got their auto scaling or if they're serverless, the infrastructure simply grows to meet their demand. And it's, it's just a lot less things that they have to worry about. They can focus on the fun part of their business, which is actually listening to customers and building up an awesome business. Jeff, as you guys are putting together all the big pre reinvent, I know there's a lot of stuff that goes on prior as well. And they say all well, the big, the good stuff are reinvent, but you start to see some themes emerge this year. One of them is modernization of applications. The speed of um, application development in the cloud with the cloud scale, DevOps personas, whatever personas you want to talk about, but basically speed. It's the speed of, of, of the app developers where other departments have been slowing things down. I won't say na name names, but security group and <laughs> IT. I mean, I, I shouldn't have said that, but, but only kidding. <laughs> um, but no, but seriously, people want it in minutes and seconds now, not days or weeks, you know, whether it's policy. What are some of the trends that you are seeing around this this year as we get into some of the new stuff coming out? So Dave, customers really do want speed and for, we've actually encapsulated this for a long time in Amazon in what we call the bias for action leadership principle where we just need to jump in and move forward and, and make things happen. A, a lot of customers look at that and they say, yes, this is great. We need to have the same bias for action. Some do, some are still trying to figure out exactly how to put it into play. And they they absolutely for sure need to pay attention to security. They need to respect the past and make sure that whatever they're doing is in line with IT, but they do want to move forward. And the interesting thing that I see time and time again is it, it's not simply about let's adopt a new technology. It's how do we how do we keep our workforce engaged? How do we make sure that they've got the right training? How do we bring our our IT team along for this hopefully new and fun and exciting journey where they get to learn some interesting new technologies. They've got all this very much accumulated business knowledge that they still want to put to use. Maybe they're a little bit apprehensive about something brand new and they hear about the cloud, but they're by and large, they really want to move forward. They just need a little bit of help to make it happen. Real quick. You guys, one of the things you're going to hear today, we're talking about speed, traditionally, Going fast, oftentimes you meant you have to sacrifice some things on quality. And what you're going to hear from some of the startups today is how they're addressing that through automation and modern DevOps technologies and sort of rethinking that whole application development approach. And that's something I'm really excited to see organizations beginning to adopt. So they don't have to make that trade off anymore. Yeah, I would never want to see someone sacrifice quality, but I, I do think that iterating very quickly and using the, the best of DevOps principles to be able to iterate incredibly quickly and get that first launch out there and then listen with both ears just as much as you can. 
everything you hear, iterate really quickly to, to meet those needs in, in hours and in days, not months, quarters, or years. Great stuff, Jeff. And a lot of the, the companies we're featuring here in the startup showcase uh, represent that new kind of thinking, um, systems thinking, as well as you know the cloud scale. And again, it's finally here, the revolution of DevOps is going to the next generation. And uh, we're excited to have uh, Emily Freeman, who's going to come on and, and give a little preview for her new talk uh, on this revolution. So Jeff, thank you for coming on. Appreciate you sharing the update here uh, on theCUBE. Uh, Happy to be here. I'm actually really looking forward to hearing from Emily. Yeah, it's great, great. Looking forward to the talk.